So you don't have control on your surrounding. You don't have control on the weather. You don't have control on the politics, on, on the economy. You don't you have no control over any of those things. And yet they're affecting you. So this thing coming, the more you awaken, the more you're coming to this place, the more you start to see this, the more you're rising, your consciousness is expanding, you're waking up, the more you realize the recognition comes that I'm not in control of anything. Yet, you're still going to do according to your programming the things that you, you're doing. Being clean, being responsible, pay your bills, return phone calls, or being a flake and not doing it. Whatever is your program. But this mind chattering or mind, mind fucking starts to go away or being observed at least. If it doesn't go away, you are becoming aware of it. So when you do something stupid or shameful or that creates guilt, you're have done it now you're feeling guilty but you're aware that you're feeling guilty you're not identifying with being guilty you are aware of the guilt you're aware of it that it's here but you're not identifying with it you're experiencing it like any other emotion or thoughts but you're not identifying with it that it's you you're simply aware of it. Hi, Kamala. Welcome back. Nice to see you. Anybody has anything to say, share, questions? We are going to do the shamanic healing circle that uh, I was supposed to be doing it last month. Um, as soon as I put the studio back together and and all the equipments are working, uh, I'm going to make I'm going to make an announcement on the date. So uh, I'm not flaking out on that. It's going to be coming, but I don't know when. I just have to make sure that the studio is set so we can broadcast it correctly. Inshallah, God willing, if it wants. So, yeah, I mean, it's this is another interesting thing. Like, okay, I migrated to Mexico and then uh, try to put this studio together and it you... Those of you who've been with me, it never happened. I neither had a quiet place that I could broadcast from nor uh, write internet. So, and there was nothing I could do. I did the best I could, but it wouldn't happen. It didn't want to happen. Something much bigger was at, at work. And now here we are. something when it's not happening it's not happening when it's happening it's happening you 
start seeing it, you start recognizing it, and you just kind of go with it. Recognizing of the ties of life. Oh, okay, the energy is there. Now it's happening. Now it's picking you up. It's taking you, and you're going with it. Or recognizing it like, okay, it's not there. You know, I get up every morning. I'm trying to jumpstart this thing, but it's not really happening. It's not there. There's no juice, no energy. That's how it is. Because there's nothing you can do about it when it's happening. When the energy comes and it's full on and you're energetic and you're full of ideas and you're inspired and you have this and it's just pouring out of you, nothing in existence can stop you. And then when it's not there, nothing you can do to make it happen. It's just not happening. So when you recognize that in your life, it's a recognition of these ties, of these movements of something is going to get you going. So inner peace comes, you become peaceful with it, and you just roll with it till, till it comes and it's happening, rather than beating yourself up or, or shaming yourself or feeling guilty that why aren't I doing this or I'm supposed to be doing this or I'm supposed to be here in this stage in my life and why I'm not there, why am I here? of recognition of you're exactly where you're supposed to be. You're exactly the way you're supposed to look. You're exactly the way you're supposed to uh, be economically or everything is exactly the will of God, the will of consciousness, everything exactly the way the one wants, the boss, her majesty, the supreme being, the supreme soul. You may come and say, well, you know, I had a son. He got in a car accident at age 42. He was brain surgeon and he was successful and had a beautiful wife and two kids and why did God take him out at that age and then someone else goes till age 110 nothing happens to them we don't understand the infinite the infinite is experiencing through every unit, every single object that exists is a manifestation of it. It's an experience of it. But we'll just talk about human beings right now. So human beings, the only animal or object on this dimension capable of thinking and feeling, capable of self-inquiry. He's asking questions, he's looking inside, he's curious, he's capable of doing it. But still an object, still an expression. An expression of the absolute. And a few human beings on this planet throughout the history went through a process of self-recognition, self-realization, 